Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about PIC24 microcontrollers programming on Linux. Microchip provides their tools for all big operating systems, including Linux, so I'll uh, show you how to create a project on this operating system. I will use their tools, also the hardware tools like this one, ICD4, for programming the devices and make some debug tests, and also some electronic breadboard so we can implement the microcontroller, the sensor we, with which the project has been created, the BME280 from uh, Bosch Sensor Tech. And I will show you also how it works using some laboratory equipment. So before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channels in order to support it and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. Okay, first thing we need to do is to download our MPLAB X IDE software. I'm browsing here around Microchip's website. In the tools and software menu, you have the main web page where you can get all the information you need about this software. And scrolling down to downloads, you will see Windows, Linux and Mac OS versions. I'll, I'll download Linux version 5.45. Let's wait a little bit until it downloads so we can start our install procedure. This file comes in a tar compressed uh, file format. So after it finishes, we'll have to take care of that uh, file in the first place. So the download has already completed. Let me open the folder so you can see it. And now I will extract its contents to this folder you can see. This is a script. We have uh, an installer script we can execute, but of course, as it is an application install, we need to give it a uh, root permission so it can install properly. Let me go to download folder. As you can see, I have here the extracted folder I'm showing it and now I will execute this script sudo mplab x minus v 5.45 linux installer dot sh I will give it my password and let it run I'm making sudo not logging in to root account because we need the screen available so we can open the window if you log in to root you will see that you will not have a graphical installer so the file is now uncompressing let's wait a little bit until we start the procedure okay so let's move forward in this welcome message accept the license agreement choose installation directory i will keep it as default and now let's choose the uh, cpu or mcu architectures in this case i will leave everything yeah let me check it again it doesn't matter it's just a, a matter of uh, hard drive space so i can show you i will include everything in this install Okay, install is now complete. And now let me just disable this because I don't need to go to their website to check these details. But you should visit if you have any doubts or want to know more. Now let's uh, reboot the machine so we can have everything completely available for our MPLAB X to start properly. Let me log in again to my personal account. 
and as soon as I have my graphical environment back online I will search for the application let me search for MPLAB IDE and let's open the application so like in Windows or Mac OS the overall environment is the same you will not notice any big differences also regarding the hardware availability like the programmers and debuggers they are roughly the same we only ha have a small detail regarding special converters or any other drivers we might need to use now that we have MPLAB X working, I will guide you to the XC16 compiler. We need it to our project, to this demonstration. And in this uh, microchip web page in tools and software, we have access to all the details about this compiler. I am browsing here for you, but I will go straight to downloads so we can download it and install it so like the MPLAB X application we have the Windows the Linux and Mac OS versions of the compiler let me press the download and show you how it's done the compiler uh, install file is a much smaller file I will go straight to the folder and now with this file let me show you how we can install it like we did to MPLAB X here in the common prompt I'll go straight to the downloads folder and this file I will put it as a executable file with chmod command and now let me execute it with sudo so we can have root permission for the graphical installer let's accept the license also I will choose the, the free version of course you can upgrade to the pro version anytime you need and add the path of all the environment variables and path you will need so that everything works properly installer process is uh, already finishing and after that we'll have to restart everything again so we can make sure our compiler is already available for our project let it finish and I will show it immediately let's accept here and take care of this host ID if you need to save it do it now now that you have already finished let's restart our MPLAB X right away okay let's close everything and now I will call MPLAB X again here it is in my recent opened applications and now when the application starts and I create a new project you will see that I'll have XC16 C compiler available to choose from okay the application is already opened let's create a new project by pressing new project let's move on I will choose the correct microcontroller model I'll be using for this test it's the PIC 24 F J 16 G A 004 I will choose simulator no adder and XC 16 as a compiler now I will call it test to my project and the process is complete when the project is 
opened and created by the IDE. I'll have the main structure on the left and at the source files folder I will create a new source file for my project. So this will open the basic structure and as you can see I will I can start writing my own code here in my project. So the main purpose of this test project is to confirm that the compiler is working properly. I will include here another file just to check if it is available. I will put some print half typical famous hello world the purpose is just to confirm it so I don't need to do anything more complex and as you can see the build was successful which means that my C compiler is working properly now that this test is complete let me open a previously created project for my small weather station using BME 280 temperature humidity and pressure sensor okay let's select it and open and now that the project is open let me show you some uh, details okay here in the source files I have my main file where I call the main functions to capture temperature, humidity and uh, pressure. I will compile the project so you can see that everything is correct. And then I will show you how we can prepare the hardware and program the microcontroller. Now, this is ICD4, Labs debugger with the main connector to the target, external power and USB connection to the computer. I will use this debugger to connect to my target. This is the USB cable and this is the adapter so I can connect it to my uh, breadboard where I have my electronics. So this cable is supplied with the debugger by the manufacturer, okay. Let's prepare it and then let's have some electronics. Okay, this is a regular breadboard used for electronics. Here is the main microcontroller and this is the sensor I'll be using the BME280. I'll connect the debugger to my target device like this. I have previously made all the electric connections and then I will give my breadboard some external power from my uh, lab power supply. So connections are complete and previously tested. So we can have our experiment working properly. Now I will connect my oscilloscope so I can show you my serial port transmitting frames uh, each time I have near readings from my sensor. So this probe is being connected to the transmit pin from my serial port, my USART port. And now let's connect the ground here so that we can make a correct reading. Now that we have electrical connection let me adjust my power supply I will decrease it to 3.3 volts and I will make a smaller limit current limit to avoid any disaster while testing it it's a standard lab procedure let's connect my master 
button and we have current being con consumed. Okay, let's go straight to MPLAB IPE so I can show you also this small tool to program the microcontrollers. You will see that we just have to open the X file produced by our compiler and then press program button to make it happen. Okay, this the tool is this one. I have selected the correct microcontroller model and the correct tool ICD4. I will connect to my tool and after it is ready I will start programming the device. Let me choose my hex file. Always check date and time so you can have sure you are using the correct file and programming is complete. Now my red LED will blink each time I send a packet. I have one second be between each transmission and as you can see my system is already transmitting. What you can see here are the frames being transmitted using the Huzard port. So in my oscilloscope I'm showing you some details of the digital signals being transmitted. I will use a uh, serial to USB converter so I can show you the data being produced by my microcontroller transmitting at uh, 9600 bits per second. Now in Linux I need to install a driver to make sure that my USB to serial converter works properly. I will enter slash etc slash udev slash rules.d folder and create a new file here to uh, have operating system support to my USB to serial FTDI converter. So the information I will put here is collected from FTDI website. They provide all the necessary information to put here in order to detect properly the ID vendor and product ID, in this case A, B, C, D, so we can uh, detect the device. Now the file is completely edited. I have to reboot my machine so I can connect my hardware from my USB serial converter and then check that it was detected properly. I am uh, reading my system uh, uh, log files and as you can see the device was detected properly at TTI USB 0. So this is the device I need to use so I can grab my serial frames being transmitted from my microcontroller. Now I need to, yeah, to add my uh, personal user to dial out a group in order to have access to this uh, device. So I'll use user mod minus A, a G, capital, dial out RS Medias. And now I will confirm that my user is already a member of this new group. Okay, here it is. So when I open my serial port software, Mo Serial, check for it at the App Store. I will choose the correct serial device and the bitrate 9600. I have connected and as you can see I already have temperature, humidity and pressure being read from my sensor and transmitted through serial port to my computer. You can also use Bluetooth modules that will have a serial port profile in order to do the same wirelessly and many other things you can uh, think of using electronics and microcontrollers. And that's it. I have shown you how to use Linux 
two program PIC24 microcontrollers from Microchip on Linux using MPLAB X IDE and Microchip tools to program the devices. I hope you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to press like if you enjoyed it, press subscribe to support the channel and the alert button if you want to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Thanks again for watching, hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye guys!